Hello world! In this tutorial we go a little bit deeper into the basics and the philosophy of DroneLink. We all fly for a while now with DroneLink and the version number out now is 1.5.0 with 1.6.0 on its way. In contradiction to most other flight apps uses DroneLink a sort of a building block system, the components to create a flight. This means in normal language that your drone flies to a location does the component and stops there. This means if you want to fly in orbit around a church and then make a straight flyby a path and take images, you fly to a destination to the church, make an orbit while filming, fly to your next destination, switch to image interval and start taking photos while you are doing the path mission. This looks very complicated but it's actually very logic. See the shopping. You walk to shop A, that is your approach. You do your shopping, let's say the orbit component. Then you walk to shop B, that is the approach again. And, do you, do, and you do your next purchase, taking photos. So we will do an example of this exact flight and I will go guide you step by step. And then we go to the next phase. In this example, I have a flight plan based on some lists and two mission components. 1. Destination 2. Video components It just tells the drone what settings to use, but not to use them yet. 3. A part of the orbit is the approach to the start point. When the drone achieves that, it will start the camera as a condition. We have discussed this before. The drone does the orbit and when done, the camera stops recording, again as a condition. The camera switches over to photo mode. The format for the image is JPEG. The photo mode is interval. Interval time is set to 3 seconds, it's between each photo. As soon as the drone has finished its approach to the path, it will start taking an image every 3 seconds, again as a condition. And finally, of course, we add the stop commando for the camera. Because we have a path, we need the camera to point at a certain direction. So we have a marker and a point of interest. The marker is the beginning of the path and the point of interest is also the church. Because we are only using one point of interest, the interpolation can remain linear because it doesn't have to change angle. Although the list was already done, the end of the destination says as a condition start video. So that's what he does. And the same goes for the image sequence. 